Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 24 of Forgecraft, where I'm chilling on the server. Uh, I think we've got, let's see, I don't, I changed it so that tab opens my hotkey, but it looks like Neptune and Turbo Diesel, aka Tom Dodd. Uh, I'm going to jump into Discord chat here in case any of those guys want to hang out while I record. It looks like Tom's here. What's up, Tom? Uh Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, sir. I'm good. I'm just starting recording my episode. Oh, no problem. So, FYI, you are live on the YouTubes. But Fantastic. not live, but recorded. But like, you Which know. episode is this now? 20... I don't know, I said it five seconds ago and I forgot it already. 24? <laughs> 24. Nice. I think I'm nearly up to date then on the YouTubes. Nice. I've yeah, no, I've, I've not got a large backlog of Forgecraft. Um, so mostly because I've only been recording it when I stream. So, like, I'm streaming yes. it and I'm recording it and... So I tried to get like a couple episodes in on a stream and that lasts me, you know, a period of time. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of time. And then you got the little in-betweens where you don't stream on a Thursday and then suddenly you've got to get on a Sunday and yes. record some or something. Yes, it's like, oh, I canceled a stream. Now I'm really in trouble. Got to record yes. all the things. Well, I haven't been on for a little while, so you've just got further and further ahead. Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't made that much progress. I did a lot of mechanism and refined storage, so I've got a pretty solid yeah. base up and running. And now I'm just mostly waiting for antimatter. So while I'm waiting for antimatter, which I could speed up, but I'm not. But I could, but I'm not. Um, I could make a bigger reactor, but I feel like I made a big enough reactor. So I'm just going to patiently wait for for antimatter here. Um, How much do you made. need? I a lot. Right. <laughs> just need to wait it out, pretty much. Yeah. Is this area like chunk loaded? So is it like when be. you're not on, do you still get stuff? Yeah, but um, it eventually runs out of fuel. Like I burn up all the uranium I've I've mined up. Uh, yeah, but the, the the math is like you make you make a thousand millibuck or you make you make fissile fuel right, which is a fluid, and then when that burns, it turns into nuclear waste, and that nuclear waste converts at a ratio I want to say is it ten to one or a thousand to one to plutonium I think or it's, plutonium. I think it's um to the waste the waste to plutonium is ten to one. I think. Yes, it's 10 to 1, right. And then polonium can turn into uh, antimatter at a rate of 1,000 to 1. Yeah, so it's pretty, uh, the numbers are against you. Let's put it that way. Yes, yes. You need, you need basically like 10,000 millibuckets <laughs> of, of, of nuclear fuel equals 1 millibucket yeah. of antimatter. Which is very, very slow. Now, are you using the... Um, are you uh, doing a recycle back into plutonium to get more fuel? I am. So I split I my nuclear waste in half. Half of it goes to making more nuclear waste, and the other half goes to make antimatter. Now, and I, I haven't decided that if that's I, a good idea or not yet. I, well, yeah, I think that I convinced you to do that because I was talking you through it last time, and I think I saw a comment under one of the latest videos that that wasn't a good idea because you end yeah. up not getting as much pluto uh, pl polonium out. Yes, I think that will probably wind up being more RF and less antimatter because yeah. it's it's cutting my supply in half, right? So I'm getting half as much antimatter. But I was hoping that like yes. that would add up over time because you do get a decent mm -hmm. amount of fissile fuel. I'd have to sit down and actually look at the math, and I've been too lazy. To yeah, you just do the math. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do the math. I did the. I eh, let's just see what happens. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but going off of, and I didn't actually super check, but like going off of how much <laughs> antimatter I've been getting since I've done that, it feels like less. Well, hopefully at some point I'll build a big reactor like the one that cyanide has, because that is pretty big. Um, maybe not that big, but um, yeah. I want to do the salt loop, because that looks pretty cool with the boiler and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that, that doesn't thing. help with anything besides getting more RF, right? No, yeah, it's just more RF and the boiler, because they've, they've upgraded the boiler. The old boiler didn't used to be able to do what the new boiler can do with the salt, so gotcha. it'll be a new thing to look at as well. Right, right, so, right. So the, the boiler is different. Yes, the boiler's slightly different, and obviously the fission reactor wasn't there before, so that's just new stuff. Right, right, yeah, so, yeah. But, so, uh, I mean, I'm already making a million the, RF a tick, and I didn't try that hard. <laughs> so I don't oh, know yeah. that I need to go salt. I think water's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're probably doing all right over there. Yeah. But, you know, just to see how it is. But the thing is, Sorin uh, somehow managed to dupe the mecha suit with, like, all the upgrades. So I've had the mecha suit, like, for ages, like, even before oh, yeah. you had it. <laughs> so that's sped up a little bit. Yeah, no, that's Sorin um, for you. So, and he's also given me, like, a stack of antimatter. I have no idea how he even got that, but whatever. Probably duped it as well. 
I'm not sure. It's just scary. I just whenever I see him on the map, it's just I just don't know what's gonna happen next. I mean, if you want to make sure that there's no glaringly obvious dupe bugs in your mod, just give it give it to him and be like, here, break <laughs> this. He will find a way. He's got a particular set of skills that everyone hates, but also there is value right. in it. In fairness, there's value. Yeah, there is. There is right. There is. <laughs> there's value. It's just like. So if it were me, I'd be That's like, amazing. oh, I found a dupe yeah. bug. Let me throw this item in lava because I accidentally duped it and reported it to the yes. mod author. And Soren's like, I found a dupe bug. <laughs> Items everywhere. Wee! <laughs> you have so, been practicing your impression, haven't you? I've, I've done it a little bit, yeah. It's been, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, been, it's, been, it's been a work in progress, to be sure. <sighs> so, right, well, I just need to get some stuff going. And you need to, what are you going to do today then? I'm going to look at pedestals, I think. Oh yeah, that is a cool mod. I haven't looked at it that much, but there's a lot of stuff in JI. Yeah, yeah. I want to see what it's all about. I want to check it out. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start reading uh, about it now to my audience. So I will not push to talk because I don't want to bore you with reading from no. from the book of pedestals. But no problem. Yeah. So this is pedestals, guys. I don't know a lot about this mod. Um, there's 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 the index. There's tools, linking, upgrade, and tag tool. Right. Uh, upgrades. There are quite a few upgrades. Like, all, this is pages and pages of upgrades. Oh, look at all the upgrades. Uh, and then there's the basics of pedestals. My understanding is pedestals are like machines, but I could be wrong. I honestly don't know. We're going to figure it out. Um, so, so, so chapter one, the basics of pedestals, getting started. Uh, I'm assuming that these are in some semblance of important order, right? Linking pedestals. Linking is backwards compared to how most mods do it. Okay. That's a mistake. <laughs> this is Dyer we're talking about. He's not going to do a good job with things being the opposite of most other mods. But we'll we'll do our best. To start, to start, shift and right click with the linking tool on the pedestal that will be receiving items. Oh, so it's an item transfer system. Let's get some actual pedestals and kind of go through this. Um, let's look at at pedestal and see if we want to define uh how to make one of these so this is stone and stone slabs do we know slabs yet uh we do not all right so pedestals pedestal uh that would be you sir and you sir and i should probably just make another one of these to keep in the system for auto crafting purposes would be smart right would be smart so you go in there you things go in here and now i should be able to request like 10 pedestals which i'm just oh that stinks so like i can request one at a time and it should craft but it's like i need more than one at a time in order to craft one I wish there was a way to like designate that it doesn't consume the item because I don't think this will work unless we have 10 linking tools in there. But it's all good. We can, you know, it crafts rather quickly. Um, and if I wanted to, I could always just, you know, do this and, and bulk craft it, which would be fine as well. So we've got pedestals. Boop. Ah, uh, boop. All right, cool. So here we go. Uh, to start, shift and right click with the linking tool on the pedestal that we be receiving items. All right, so that would be you. Oh, hey, look, you're glowing. Whoa, is it snowing in here or what is happening? Why is it snowing? What did I do to cause snow? Why is it snowing? What did I do? Uh, the linking tool will glow. The tooltip will also show you the coordinates for the selected block. All right, selected block equals that unbreaking. All right, neat. That's cool. Uh, with the wand in the hand, an area of particles will appear showing you within what area around the receiver you can connect to. Got it. Okay, cool. So that particle's back? Yes. So this is the area upon which the pedestal can connect. That's interesting. It's a neat approach. I always struggle with particles as a boundary because like, when you're on the boundary of the particles, it's sometimes difficult to see, right? But that's still cool. That's still cool. There feels like there's a pattern to the way those particles work, too. Um, shift right click with the linking tool that has a stored location to link to on a pedestal that will be sending items. That's you, sir. Link successful. You should get a chat message that tells you if it was successful or not. Psst, it was. 
Sender pedestals can send to a max of eight receiver pedestals. Receiver pedestals can receive from any number of sender pedestals. Hooray. Hooray. All right, so that's that. Pedestal aesthetics. To color a pedestal, you can right-click it with a color palette, making colored pedestals, da ba 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 doop ba doop ba deep ba boop I'm not going to worry about that for now. We'll deal with making colored pedestals later. Redstone control. A pedestal powered by redstone cannot be sent items, XP, energy, or fluids. Will prevent its upgrade from functioning. Will prevent being teleported to if connected to a teleporter upgraded pedestal. Uh, pedestals emit redstone when a comparator has been set to read its inventory like any other inventory. You can create some custom routing situations with pedestals just using the redstone control. Okay, that sounds cool. That sounds super neat. Um, pedestal augments only affect the rate at which a pedestal sends items. Uh, so there is no need to upgrade both a sender and receiver unless the sender, the receiver sends its items to a chained receiver. Got it. Five upgrades can be used on a pedestal at a time. Speed augment upgrade uh, decreases the delay when sending items, so it'll send the items faster. Uh, and pedestal transfer capacity augment increases the number of items that will go um, from four items at a default up to eight, 16, 32, 48, and 64. Sweet. Okay. So these are item transfer components somehow, right? Uh, enchantments, enchanting pedestal upgrades. This is a general overview of enchantments available. More detailed info will be available later. So you can increase some things. That's cool. We'll probably have to look at upgrades at some point in order. Well, yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, these books will only accept one enchant when you use an enchanting table. Due to the nature of these books, they can only be combined with items using the XP Vanvil upgrade. Okay, cool. We'll figure that out in a bit. Uh, entity filtering, there are a few upgrades that determine their targets based on the block below them. Oh, that's cool. There's like mob fans and potion diffusers, and that seems all neat. All right. We'll have to play with that, and remember that there's filters for things in a bit. Right? Um, cool. So, and then there's upgrades and tools. So there's the linking tool. We figured out how that works for the most part. There's the upgrade tool. When right-clicked on an upgraded pedestal, will display details about the upgrade in your chat. When shift right-clicking on a pedestal, it'll save a pedestal's location like the linking tool, but it will show you the work area or affected block of that upgrade may not work on all upgrades. Okay, that's neat. With an item in the offhand and the tag tool in your main hand, right-click in the air, a message on screen will list all the tags that item has on it. Tags can be used to rename items for the missing function. Filter tag upgrade, which can be used to target item groups for filtering. Okay, interessante. Betty a thing. All right, so these are all the upgrades we can put on it. So I guess first question, do what now? Because I figured out how to link items, but like what's a pedestal do? What's what's pedestals 101? Uh, I gather that all those upgrades are gonna do things, right? But so we said you're gonna be the one receiving and you're gonna be the ones, oh, hello, what? Oh, hey, look at that. There you go. So you're 52, 16, okay. Sweet. All right, I get it. I get it. That's cool. And I guess that's getting four blocks at a time every second, which is the default. And then we could upgrade this pedestal. Okay, I get you. I get you. I'm starting to see in my brain how that works, right? Uh, I'm starting to see in my brain how that works, right? So by default, they just send items from one to the next, right? Uh, and then there's all these upgrades that we can apply to the pedestal, I presume, that make it do things. That's kind of cool. Okay. So how about block place or upgrade? Place block from the bottom side of the pedestal. Like any other upgrade, you can change the way it places block by utilizing the pedestal placement angle. Those are words that I did not know. I did not know there was a pedestal placement angle. Okay, that's cool. Filtered magnet, ooh, items, item stacks. Magnet upgrades, EXP magnet. Ah, that looks all interesting. 
Imports items from the below inventory into the pedestal. Item network from the pedestal item network. Okay, default speed is one. Item transferred per second, but can be increased to 64. Okay, yes. Got it, okay. So it's kind of a network of things, I think. I'm kind of seeing it. Um, can pedestals be placed, like, on the side of a block? Oh, they totally can. Look at that. Neato burrito. How cool are you, pedestals? I like you. Okay, so they don't just go on the ground. All right. I'm starting to see a thing here. I'm starting to see how this thing works. So let's see if we can get pedestals to transfer items between chests. Do I still have, like, a ton of chests in my inventory from last time I was playing with... With mods that transfer items around? I do. So the below of the pedestal would be you, right? And then you go that way. And then we're going to link from here to here. Okay. So if I want to transfer items from this chest into this chest, right, we will need the following things. We're going to need upgrades. Um, so we're going to need an export upgrade. Exports items from the pedestal item network into a below inventory. Right. Uh, and then we're going to need an import. Okay, so let's do look. Look at these pedestals. Export. Pedestal upgrade. Export upgrade. Filtered export food. Filtered export enchanted. Item stack. Item and mod. Neato burrito. That is cool. Import upgrades make export upgrades. Well, we want those two. Right? So... Import upgrades are made with upgrade bases, which, yeah, that's going to be a thing we're going to want a bunch of. Hopefully they stack, and they do. Probably not for long, but let's get like 32 of them or so. I said or so. And a hopper, which I think I know how to make. Ah, oh, we're missing chests. Do you not know how to make chests? Learn, sir. Learn the chest. Yes, I have lots of chests in my inventory. I still want my refined storage system to know how to make chests. So I'm going to get two of these, right? We'll turn one of them into an export. So now we've got an import upgrade and an export upgrade. So you would get the import and you would get the export. And then you would do this. Oh, hello. That is a thing that's working. Look at that. Okay. That's cool. And then, right. And then we can upgrade that with speed upgrades, right? So Where was the basic export? Oh, it probably jumped down here because I looked at it already, right? Imports items from the below inventory into the pedestal network. Default speed is one item transfer per second, but can be increased to 64 items per tick. But how? I'm assuming that would be the augments. These augments only affect the rate at which a pedestal sends items. So there's the speed augment. Right, which is going to be diamonds. Let's see how these work. These will speed things up in terms of how fast. Okay. Now that's going to be how fast it can transfer items, right? But not how fast it extracts them from the chest. Right. So if I were to put, for example, a stack of cobblestone on there, it would stack or it would transfer a large amount all at once is what my expectation is. Right. Yeah, it totally did. Right. So if I were to take 64 of these, 27, 58, yes. It definitely did that pretty quickly. Okay. So that's that. But how do I make 
the extractor faster? That's the question I have. Oh, you know what? This speed is how many ticks it waits before sending. Okay, I got you. Right. So this is increasing how quickly it transfers items. This one increases the, the stack size per item. Got it. Okay. But how do we still... Um, that's pedestal augments. Can be enchanted directly onto the upgrades using an enchanting table, the enchanting upgrade, or with books in the anvil and anvil upgrade. Another option available if you don't want the randomness of enchanting tables by using enchantment focused books. The last three enchantments have to be applied to the XP anvil upgrade. Got it. Okay. I think I got it. Pedestal capacity. Generally, this will increase the amount of items being handled by an upgrade. With XP upgrades, it will increase the amount of XP. Got it. Transfer rate. Cool. So basically, if I want this upgrade, do I shift right click to take it off? I do. Hello. I can enchant him with an enchantment to make him faster. Area book? No. We want to make a book. Speed? That sounds about right. Yeah. I should make a bunch of books is what I'm being told. Three is enough for me. So speed, range, capacity, and advanced. So let's just review. Thinking capacity might be the one that increases the number of items pulled out per operation. And then speed would probably be how many items or how frequently it pulls items out, right? I like that. There's a quarry as well. Like, I think these things can do more than transfer items. I think they do a million things. It's interesting, though. I definitely want to try it out. So let's do... Let's do capacity. We'll do one of those. And we'll also do speed. We'll do two of them. And then I think I need an enchanting table, right? Do I have one of those? Probably not. Oh, we need more of this. Rip. Precision sawmill can do it. Ugh, both of those are terrible. Do I have any sneaky ways to make leather? I don't think I have cow essence, but my buddy Soren might. So we're gonna pop on over. Can we get a bunch of leather from him? We can. All right. We stealing from Soren is always a good day. Boop boop. Okay. So we want an enchantment table, and I presume we're gonna need the whole bookshelf thingy. Yeah, that's that's a little stinky. Let's see what happens. So if I put you in here. Pedestal capacity one. Got it. I think I get you. I think I get you. And then there's probably, from pedestals, there's probably a couple different tiers of that, right? Speed five, range five. I got it. And then capacity five. So it'll go up, right? I wonder what advanced does. Sweet. I'm sure it's covered in here. The enchantment allows for upgrades that use an inventory below them to be able to the inventory of any entity as well. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. Okay, so you could like extract items out of the player, maybe. That would be cool. Yeah. So mana pylons is definitely a thing that I could do for this, but like at the same time, I don't have mana diamonds or or ingots yet because I haven't gotten into Batania. And I don't think Soren has either, for that matter. So alas, there's that. Does Soren have an enchanting table at his base? That's a question. He might. He does. Look at that. Good job, Soren. Good job having an enchanting table. Yeah. See, then we can get pedestal three, 
right? Um, you know, or if I put this in here, we would get, you know, a high level of pedestal enchant. That's neat. Okay, that's cool. So let me get my lapis. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it in this table because I just want to get the one just to kind of see it. Also, I don't have a ton of experience because I haven't been doing a lot by way of experience. But yeah, that's a thing that I guess I'm going to have to think about. That's definitely a thing we're gonna have to think about. Maybe, maybe some way of getting more experience. But for now, I'm gonna use my simple enchanting table because I'm gonna get the same thing for less EXP, right? So let's get capacity one, right? And we'll get a couple pedestal speed ones. Hooray. And then if we want a higher tier of that, obviously, you know, it's a thing. So now, with the enchantment-focused doohickey, I think I can apply this with an anvil. Forget if I have an anvil. Didn't I have an anvil somewhere? I thought I made an anvil. Could have sworn I had an anvil. Meh. I think I have enough iron, right? Okay, so now we apply the two speed upgrades. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's not right. Uh. Uh. Am I doing this wrong? I think I figured it out, guys. So according to the book, we need to use an XP anvil upgrade in order for this to work. Now I'm going to need some bottles of enchanting. Which I think I can steal from Soren's I have a billion things AE system. Really? Without the glass? Well, I'll just take this home with me. And we will make glass bottles over here. How are we for glass? Missing sand still. Well, sort of, but not really. It sounds pretty fine to me, Turbo. I'm stealing things that he has infinite amounts of. He won't have ever know. He would well, never know. Yes. You got a point. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. All right. So then... Uh, luckily, that digital miner is doing a pretty good job. It's not doing bad, right? It's just been... destroying the underground. That is true. All right. So now I can make an XP anvil upgrade which apparently does a thing so how does this work let's look at the book and see how to use the xp anvil upgrade upgrades okay this upgrade consumes experience it cannot transfer experience out the experience anvil can repair items in the inventory below using its stored xp the repair cost is similar to the mending enchant for combining enchantments or renaming tools, an infusion style structure is required in relation to the pedestal with the anvil upgrade. A pedestal needs to be placed within one block space in between the north, east, south, and west. You are not required to have these four additional pedestals. It just increases the amount of items that can be combined at once. Items in the below inventory will be repaired first, and then the anvil uh, pedestal will check if there is anything to be combined. If nothing exists, it will output the item in, into the pedestal. A rename name tag, books, or other enchanted items can also be added to the surrounding pedestals. Their enchants will be transferred to the item being combined. Okay, cool. So I think I do this, this, and I put the XP thingy here, and then I say upgrade and speed upgrade? Or, no, not you. Uh, maybe I need you to have a chest. In order to get, maybe. So the import upgrade goes there, and then the capacity upgrade goes here. Maybe. 
Maybe? Ish. It consumes XP though, so I might need to give it XP. So how would one give it XP? That's a good question. Uh, there is the XP grindstone upgrade, XP magnet upgrade, XP enchanter upgrade, exporter, relay, dropper, XP tank upgrade, XP bottler upgrade. A lot of XP upgrades. Let's see. Uh, XP, let's do EXP. Similar to the magnet upgrade, except it will collect XP and hold it in its internal buffer. It will also absorb XP from a player who is colliding, has their body against with the pedestal with this upgrade. The speed enchant increases how fast it pulls XP. Okay, cool. You need to connect another XP upgrade like the XP tank to this upgrade in order to transfer the levels out as the buffer maxes at 30 levels of storage. Okay. So can I combine upgrades? Is that a thing I can do? Maybe? Let's get let's get an XP magnet upgrade. Unbelievable. Raining? <laughs> Again. Is it ever not? I'm just I'm just getting deja vu at this point. I just I just I don't know. Let's see, do these things combine? No, it wouldn't seem so. So I think what I would have to do. Right now, call me crazy, but what we would what want. Want, want so we click on the one that's going to receive that would be you, and then click on the sender, and you're going to get the XP magnet upgrade, and you're going to get the anvil upgrade, and then I stand and I'm adjacent to you, and you should be stealing my experience. Oh, hello, I think it's working. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, you've got some green sparkles, so that's good to know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Elpex says I'm crazy. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. I think that's going to absorb that experience, right? Yeah, it is. All right. So he's totally getting experience from this. So I've got experience in the pedestal with the anvil upgrade. Right? I'm getting the hang of this. The upgrade consumes XP. It cannot transfer XP out. The XP anvil can repair items in the inventory below. Yes. For combining enchantments or renaming tools, an infusion style structure is required. In relation to the pedestal with the anvil upgrade, a pedestal needs to be placed within with a one block space in between. Ah, in between. Okay, so it needs to have a one block space in between. Hang on to your horses. I'm learning. I'm a learning. So you're going to go, eh, no. So we're going to have the chest. We're going to have you. You're going to have an import upgrade. And then you are going to have the capacity guy. You're going to have that dude. And combine. And combine. Or maybe, maybe what I need to do is put this there. That could also be the case. I don't know. All right, guys, we're, report we're recording again because I'm being told that something interesting has happened outside. I don't... I was just going over to steal some more stuff, and suddenly I saw this. Where are you? I don't even know where you are. Oh, there you are unless, over there. Uh, unless this was here before and I just missed it. Oh, the big the big building? Is this... This wasn't here last time. Oh, yeah, no, Is no, it? that was Shy's building. Oh, this is, I didn't see this. Oh, yeah. I, I must be blind then. Shy. Yeah. What on earth is this? This looks really cool. Actually. It's cool, right? Go read it. There's a nice message in the top. I saw it on camera last episode, so. 
Oh yeah, that was really nice actually, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was watching that episode and I saw the comments under that. That was really good. Can I do that? I'm, I'm curious if there's a way well to like done, force it. Audience. This isn't new at all. It's just that I didn't see it. Oh yeah. Okay, with something on there already, it can accept it. So I'm not sure how to make this go together. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do is poke around with this a little bit and we'll come back next episode and have a better understanding of it, and then also play with some other uh, upgrades. But for now, I gotta wrap up. So, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.